Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and today I'm here with another White Sox update because a lot has been going on. So uh, the first thing that we want to get to is obviously that Moncada has signed a five-year extension for $70 million with the White Sox. So we're going to have, we know we're going to have Moncada playing the uh, hot corner for quite a while. So that was good news. Um, uh, some of the other news, uh, Kopech, Kopech made his uh, spring debut and he was throwing BBs. He was throwing smoke. Hit um, over 100, I think, on the radar gun. Uh, and he had one scoreless inning. So, yeah, it's nice to see him back. It's nice to see it looks like, you know, the old Kopech is back, which is awesome. Um, some other news. Encarnacion is sitting out for a little while with a sore hip. So, we'll see how that goes. But the expectations are that he is still on track to be ready by opening day. So let's hope that that's the, that's the case with, with him. Um, other than that, let's just uh, get to some stats. The White Sox so far are 10 and seven in spring. So that's, um, I guess that's okay. I mean, it, it's over 500. Again, it's spring. It doesn't really mean that much because you're playing against a lot of people who aren't even going to be on major league rosters. But it's nice to see a 10 and 7 record, you know. Um, we've got some batting stats. Some some guys have really are, are really impressive. How about Yerman Mercedes? That guy might actually make the roster um, as one of the White Sox options at catcher. However, that remains to be seen because um, he's uh, like he wouldn't play. You know, the, um, the DH will be in Canarcion. Now we'll see if he's ready for opening day. If Canarcion's ready for opening day, but the expectation is that he will be. So if he's on the opening day roster, he's going to be the DH, and the catcher is, you know, um, going to be Grandall. So. What do you do with Mercedes? And then the other question is, if Mercedes won't play regularly, is he better served being down in the minor leagues and playing every day as the starting catcher? Or at worst, sharing duties with the other catcher, which he would not be doing on the White Sox. So that's the question. Now, he is 27 years old, so he is a little older than most like um, prospects are. So maybe the White Sox say, you know what, he's, he's 27, so let's bring him up, put him on the roster, um, see what he can do. I don't know. Um, you know, and then maybe they, they keep Zach Collins down instead of him. So we'll see how that all plays out. But yeah, I mean, Yerman Mercedes, he's hitting 381 in the spring with a 409 on base percentage and a 1,000 slugging percentage. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Chesler Cuthbert is hitting 407, and he's got a 515 on base percentage and an 815 slugging. That dude is off the charts. And, you know, what are you going to do with Cuthbert? I mean, you know, he'll make the roster, but, um, I mean, with stats like that, he better make the roster somehow. And I don't even have him. If you watched all of my preview videos, I don't have Cuthbert. I mean, maybe I've mentioned him a couple of times, but I don't really have him as, like, a big player. And maybe he will be. So anyway, yeah, he's doing 407, 515, 815. And he's facing, now that is facing the uh, average of, uh, like, high A ballers. Because uh, if you go to... Um, baseballreference.com and you look players up it'll tell you um, they've got like a, a quality of competition rating and it's on a scale of 1 to 10 and 10 is a major leaguer 9 is like a triple A player and 7 or 8 are like um, like uh, A ball type players 
So he's in that like kind of like a ball player um, type of competition that he's been facing, but you know, and uh, and Mazzara, Mazzara's hitting 364 with a 462 on base percentage and a 545 slugging percentage um, in 22 at bats, and he's been facing about the same 7.7. .7 on a scale of 1 to 10 uh, quality of competition, so an A-ball type player. Um, Lewis Robert is hitting 333 with a 394 on base percentage of 567 slugging percentage. Andrew Vaughn is hitting 304 with a 448 on base percentage and a 522 slugging percentage. And Adam Engel, my main man, Adam Engel, is hitting 303, 314 on base, which is not good, and uh, 545 uh, slugging percentage. So, um, yeah, I mean, you know, how about those hitting stats? Oh, yeah, I'm having a blast. Thanks. Good. God, the sucker teed off in that like he knew I was going to throw a fastball. He did know. Huh. I told him. Uh, pitching wise, again, the pitching is, the, the pitchers aren't getting a lot of innings so far. I mean, Keuchel has a 587 earned run average, which is not that great. But he's only pitched seven innings, I think. And uh, he, and his qual but his quality of competition is 8.6. So that's like a uh, AAA player type thing. Um, Dylan Cease has a four earned run average. Uh, Dylan Cease needs a... I think he needs to pick it up. I mean, if he's working on stuff, and that's why he's... Like, Keuchel, I could understand. Keuchel is working on stuff. So, maybe, you know, you can cut him some slack. But C should not be working on stuff. Because he's got Kopech right behind him. And, oh, by the way, he's got Carson Fulmer right behind him, too. Because Carson Fulmer has been pitching it. He's been pitching it. And Carson Fulmer is out of options. So the White Sox are going to have to make a decision whether they're going to keep Carson Fulmer on the roster or just, you know, uh, expose him to other people uh, trying to sign him. But based, I mean, he's got a 186 earned run average. So based on that, the White Sox probably won't do that. He probably will make the roster as at worst a relief pitcher in the bullpen. Um, but I did have Car Carson Fulmer on there. You know, when I talk about my comparison videos, comparing the White Sox to other teams, Carson Fulmer's been on it. Uh, I didn't realize, though, until recently that he's out of options. So he really will be on the roster if he can keep up these kinds of stats. I mean, he better be. Again, he better be. So a lot of good news for the White Sox. Things are looking up. We don't have any major injuries, at least not that I know of. We've locked up... Uh, Moncada to a big deal, um, just like we did with uh, Lewis Robert. Um, and we've got surprising guys like Cuthbert and Yerman Mercedes and Fulmer that are playing out of their minds. So always a lot of good stuff there. So it's a lot to look forward to, and uh, I'm loving it. And I want to remind everybody... Subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, uh, send it to people who might be interested, other White Sox fans. going to be a lot of White Sox content this year. I'm going to be talking about the White Sox incessantly. And there's my contact information. Uh, there's my Twitter and my Instagram and my email down there at the bottom. I, uh, I'll, I'm always happy to answer emails. But for right now, hey, the White Sox looking good. And Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.